Twitter. It's good for exposing too much about your life, stalking your boyfriend, and getting celebrities in trouble. What up guys, this is Mikey and you're watching The Drop. Everybody's been talking about this Drake apology letter that he sent to Rolling Stone magazine all because he pulled a Kanye and tweeted an emotional rant. Drake got in his feelings on Twitter after Rolling Stone magazine switched him off the cover last minute and replaced him with Philip Seymour Hoffman. You know, cause he died. Drake's tweet after they switched the cover reads, they took my cover from me last minute and ran the issue. I'm disgusted with that. RIP to Philip Seymour Hoffman, all respect dude, but the press is evil. I'm done doing interviews for magazines. Drake basically made himself look like, you know, a dick. I get it. It's okay to feel like you got screwed after they promised you the cover and you took time away from shooting videos with Beyonce to come in and do some photos in an interview. And when you're a big star, I know you're used to getting your way, but when it comes to people passing away, Way, it's never really convenient for anybody. So you kind of got to act like the rest of us and, you know, keep it to yourself. Especially when it's about the man who brought us the rain dance. Rain dance? Ice man. Drake deleted the rant almost immediately on Twitter, but this is 2014. There's no such thing as deleting tweets, Facebook posts, Instagram photos, or even Snapchat. Stop sending those dick pics. Those things live on forever, like love and also diamonds. But we all get caught up. It happens. It's partially one of the reasons why my ass is on this 30 day social media detox right now. But trust me, it ain't easy. On Valentine's Day, Drake posted an apology letter entitled, Tough Day at the Office. In it, he explains, I completely support and agree with Rolling Stone magazine replacing me on the cover with the legendary Philip Seymour Hoffman. My frustration stemmed from the way it was executed. I was not able to salvage my story or my photos and that was devastating. Devastating, huh? There's nothing worse than not being able to see your face on another magazine. In fact, on the list of the top three most devastating things a person can experience, it comes in just above death. The only thing worse is not being able to get past level 10 on Flappy Bird. In no way would I ever want to offend the Hoffman family or see myself as bigger than that moment. Too late. You can find a link to the full letter in the description below. And so what do you think? Did Drake do the right thing by writing the apology letter? Or do you think celebs should be more free to express how they feel and make themselves look like dicks? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe while you're at it. I'm Mikey and I'll see you tomorrow for more The Drop.